So, here I'm going to show you how we can use Assyrium to delegate tasks down to help desk or staff who are not trained on particular devices. So for this example I'm going to use a Juniper EX4200 Junos switch and we've called it in this example here the London first floor switch. So I'm just going to drill into this device and scroll down to my task section. Now this device has been provisioned using a template that has three tasks defined in it. Those tasks are to change interfaces into the printers, users and VoIP or users VLANs. Each of those tasks uses various bits of input including the VLAN numbers and a selection from this interface list. All of those inputs are defined over here so we have the numeric values for all our VLANs and we have our interface list that we are going to offer to the sysadmin performing this task. If we just drill into that interface list we'll see here that the display names that we're going to be using for the interfaces have a nice clear syntax just seeing interface 2, 3 etc. But the actual interface names inside the Juniper Junos configuration are these gigabit ethernet dash zero slash zero type syntax. This means that the help desk staff or the operator making this change doesn't need to understand how this syntax works in the device. We've taken that issue away from them. They just have to pick the number of the physical interface that they're reconfiguring at that point in time. You'll also notice on this list that the list goes from port uh, from interface 2 down to interface 23. So that means interfaces 0 and 1 are not on this list. That's been done deliberately because they're the uplink ports that link this edge switch up to the core and we don't want our sysadmins or our help desk staff perform any changes on those uplink ports. So I'll just drive into the dive into the configuration of the template just to show you the actual task and you can see here that it's a one line command that's being run it's got quite a few options on it so usually take a bit of training or a bit of knowledge for somebody to know how to make this change on the device but using a Sirium we can remove the need for that expertise on the device and allow people to just pick a simple task you can see here the various elements of the command and we're inserting into the command the interface that is being chosen by the person making the change and also the VLAN ID number that we want to change that interface to. As well as making the actual change we've also got a second line down here where we're changing the description of the interface to put in a little note that says change to a user port by whoever the user is performing the task via Sirium at and there's a time date stamp in there. So there's a nice little bit of change control bit of uh, configuration management that we can track what's done there as well. Um, another thing we do is that we disable enable the interfaces before and at the end of the task. Reason for doing that is if a device has already been plugged into that port then doing this disable and enable means that that device will automatically go and re-request a new DHCP address so you don't have to go and type IP config renew if it's a Windows box or force that device to do a DHCP uh, renew request. So the way we use these tasks then is we go into our profiles and we find our, a, a profile that I've created here called the switch operators. Now in this profile I've got a couple of my help desk staff and I've got my London first floor switch. You'll note here that the access level is set to read only. This is so that we can give these staff uh, the normal browser and shell management interface of that device so they can still get used to the vendor's management interface for it and still get to learn the device um, but in a safe and controlled manner. We then down here offer them these, these additional tasks which are to be able to change the interfaces and their VLAN configurations as I just mentioned. So just before we go and look at that on the desktop client I'm going to go into the Juniper management interface for the device and you'll see here that we've got all our interfaces listed and we've got our VLAN IDs they're just set to the default VLAN and there's no descriptions against them so interface 5 will be one we'll pick just to change as, a, as an example so 
let's go to our desktop client and we open up our desktop client and we find our London first floor switch. On here you'll see that we've got our browser and our shell access and we've also got our three tasks that we've been delegated to be able to perform. So first one I'll do then is I'll set one of the interfaces to be in the user's VLAN. So let's pick an interface for that. So interface 5, send that task off. So Assyrium is now performing that task on our behalf. That comes back successful. And if we go to the Juniper interface and refresh it, you can see now that interface 5 is now changed into the user's VLAN and we've added in our comment to say that the port has been changed by Kev via Assyrium and there's a time date stamp against it as well. So likewise we could do a printer's VLAN and we'll change interface 6 to go into the printer's VLAN. Again off it goes and when that comes back we should then see on the Juniper interface that port 6 has indeed changed to the 200 printers VLAN and has a, an according description place next to it. So when that's opened up, let's just move that so we can see it, and there is our port 6 now in the printer VLAN. So this example is showing the reconfiguration of uh, VLANs on ports, but the same can apply to the speed and the duplex settings and um, various other configurations that might be common tasks to be reconfigured on those devices. So there we have it. That's using Assyrium to be able to delegate tasks down to help desk or operations staff so they can make changes and do so in a safe and secure manner.